This is the world's first practical implementation of the spatial modulation principle. Spatial modulation uses multiple transmit antennas to convey extra information bits. In particular, this extra information is encoded in the physical location of the transmitting antenna. As such, it requires no additional bandwidth, yet still results in increased data rates. This makes the system more spectrally efficient. In addition, spatial modulation activates only a single transmit antenna at any particular transmission instance. This means it requires only a single RF chain. By requiring a single RF chain, despite the number of transmit antennas available, it maintains a constant power usage. This makes spatial modulation particularly well suited for the next generation wireless systems. How does spatial modulation work? Let us look at the implemented system. In particular, let's assume that we have two transmit antennas. Let's label these two transmit antennas as TX. Now, we have also two receive antennas. Let's label these Rx. Spatial modulation works by having only a single antenna broadcasting at any particular instance. So the path of the rays coming from transmit antenna 1 to the receiver might be this, this, and this. Similarly, the path of the rays coming from transmit antenna 2 might be this, this, or this. By knowing which path the information data used to arrive at the receiver, the receiver can decode which transmit antenna was active. By knowing which transmit antenna was active, it can extract the spatial information of spatial modulation. In this manner, simply by having a physical separation of the antennas, the rays coming from the two antennas take different paths to the receiver. This enables spatial modulation to increase the information data rate and results in a more spectrally efficient system since it requires no additional bandwidth. This is the transmitter for the practical implementation of spatial modulation. It uses two transmit antennas and broadcasts at a frequency of 2.3 gigahertz with a sampling rate of 5 mega samples per second. By using one additional transmit antenna, the data rate of the system is effectively doubled since BPSK modulation is used. On this side, we have the receiver for this demonstration. The receiver recovers the transmitted signal, and here we have the received video. As previously stated, it is important that the paths of the two information data rays are different However, the paths are not dependent only on the outside environment. Indeed, each component used at the transmitter and receiver is not identical. In particular, each has certain imperfections, which make the paths of the rays distinguishable and unique, even when the outside environment is unfavorable. In particular, we can see that if the transmit or receive antennas are brought very close together, there is negligible impact on the received video. This makes spatial modulation particularly well suited for systems with high correlation. From this demonstration, we can see that spatial modulation can be implemented in practice with tangible benefits for future wireless networks. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.